this is my first YouTube video and it's so funny because I'm such a big introvert but uh, we'll see. <laughs> so as the title says it is a reveal of my new Prada walk and also a sort of a little comparison between my new walk from Prada and then my Chanel walk. So let's get started. So I ordered it from Nordstrom and it just came in the UPS box. Um, they have their little Prada boutique in California and I got it from there. And there were so many different colors to choose from and I went with this one and I'm so happy that I did. It's just a beautiful pink color like you'll see. Um, and then just a little side story, I had already ordered a walk before, like two weeks ago the same one in the color caramel and it was beautiful but when it comes to wallets I think I like to get ones that are a little bit more vibrant and um, just adding a pop of color because I tend to go towards more of neutral bags, blacks and in browns and beiges so when it comes to a wallet I want it to stand out because I already have a Prada Satiano tote and it's in the color Cameo which is like a pinky nude color it's beautiful and if you guys want to see that bag and have me do a review of it just um, let me know down below and I will um, do like a little review of that bag and especially after I get to wear this out a little bit then I can do um, kind of a review for both so um, I think this pink goes really well with that color for the tote that I have. So, without any further ado, this is my wallet for the wallet. And then there's the Prada paper. Ah, so pretty. <laughs> so. wrapping in there. So this is my new wallet on chain. It's in the color strawberry <laughs> and it is this beautiful pinky kind of a little bit of a peachy color. Um, I, I think of watermelon when I look at this color and it's just beautiful. Um, it's in the Safiano leather which has got this like cross grain. It's just easy to maintain, super easy to clean, and um, just you don't have to worry about it so much, you know, where as the other smoother leathers, you get one little stain on it and you got the stain for life. So I like this, and if it's like my bag, it'll be super easy to clean. Um, I got the pink color obviously because it's just beautiful and in the gold hardware it says Prada Milano in gold and so you open it up and it's got the two little poppers there and then it says Prada Milano embedded in the leather down here and then we have two um, slots right there one two and um it's I wouldn't put anything in it except for receipts. And then there's two slots right in there. Pretty six slots for your cards, so you can put your credit cards in there. And then we have our zippered compartment, which is always fun. And then um, the authenticity card. So what I love about this type of wallet is that it's a true wallet. I mean, it's long and it's got this sleek kind of um, shape to it and then the other great thing is that you can pop these off and the chain can be detached and that's just one thing that I wish the Chanel um, did do so let me show you what I'm talking about new baby old baby so <laughs> This is my Chanel walk and it's in black caviar leather. Um, it's the um, CC embedded one and it's got the silver hardware and I like to, um, 
I don't prefer silver over gold really, especially since, um, well, maybe gold because I tend to wear more, more gold in my jewelry, um, especially since this little bracelet here, it never comes off, it's always on, so I'll always mix in like a little silver, sorry I didn't mean to flip you guys off, um, a little silver um, something added in, but um, going back to where I was talking about, um, this chain does not detach and I really wish that it did. I mean, I guess it's not that big of, it's not a deal breaker for me obviously because the bag itself is not so much a wallet but it's more um, a crossbody, a more of a little something to carry your little stuff in. So it's not that big of a deal but just having that ability to detach it might have made it a little bit more of a wallet feel for me. But it's got kind of the same details. It has the six um, card slots right there, the one zipper pocket, and I have my Chanel Authenticity card in there, and then the one slot there, and then it just has the one compartment as opposed to like the splitting off into two, the Prada. Um, but we do have this humongous um, zippered compartment in the back which goes literally all the way down to the bag. And I made the mistake one time of putting money in there and <laughs> it took me a while to dig it out. So note to self, don't do that. It's perfect for going out to a club or to a bar or if I'm going to a house party and I don't want to put my bag in, um, in someone's room. This is great. And also for traveling. Like if you're traveling overseas, sometimes you go into places where you have to be a little bit more careful about what you take with you and um, and just safety, safety reasons. This is great because you can use it as a crossbody and it fits your passport in there. So that's a great thing for this one. In terms of sizing between the two of them, obviously this is going to be a lot more sleek. Um, it's longer, the Prada is longer, and it's definitely um, shorter when it comes to height versus the Chanel. So this is definitely more of a rectangle, whereas this is kind of an elongated rectangle. And um, it does have kind of the same leather benefits. They are both that grainy um, kind of texture. So um, let's see what it looks like on. So. The Prada on my shoulder hits about to like my lower hip area, which is great as a um, as just a shoulder bag. And then the Chanel is definitely longer. Um, so I think the Chanel is a lot better of a crossbody, whereas the Prada kind of hits me at a kind of a weird angle. Um, I guess it feels fine, but I mean, when it comes to a crossbody, I'd rather have it a little bit lower. And the Chanel hits me like at a perfect um, length when I use it as a crossbody. So. Um, there is a lot longer of a chain on the Chanel, but I really can't compare it with the Prada because I'll be using this mostly as a wallet and um, I can't wait to use it as a wallet. <laughs> so that is my kind of um, two cents on this bag. If you guys want to see um, a review uh, and a reveal of my, not a reveal, but a review of my Prada um, Lux Tote, and then um, and then with this, I can definitely do that for you guys. Just let me know down below. And then also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And thank you, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!